Ladies and gentlemen, our next guests swear, spit, and generally get into trouble wherever they... Oh, wait a minute, that's our third guest, the nun. <laughs> wherever they play, actually. Apart from that, they're the politest rock stars anywhere, and they have a new CD out called Smile and Wave. Yeah. Yes. Please welcome from the Headstones, Hugh Dillon and Trent Carr. <laughs> Boy, that's a, it's a windy walk over here, isn't oh, it, fellas? Yes. <laughs> Take it easy. Hopefully there will be no more jokes about my hair, ever. I get it. <laughs> well, it looks like the Smashing Pumpkins will still be looking for a drug-free drummer. What, what are you saying, Mike? I'm uh, saying you should have got it. <laughs> when did the band get together? About ten years ago. Yeah, we've, we've been messing around for a long time, and it got serious when we... Professionally. Yeah. Professionally. <laughs> professionally about six years ago. So don't forget their new messing around CD. You want to lay out 20 bucks for a bunch of guys who were messing around, don't you, folks? That's the third one. That's the mess, messing around. Oh, okay. So that's now the you Don gotta... Messer one. Okay, that's the Don Messer. Yeah, messing Messer. I Trent, get it. Uh, our bass player, who's not here, uh, I don't know why. Hi, Tim. Oh, is he there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Isn't that odd? They told us you couldn't play because the bass player couldn't make it, but there he is right in the audience. <laughs> well, they can tell you how rising. happy I am right now, fellas. That's good. Well, so actually, you... we forgot our tape. You know, we lip sync everything. We don't write it or play anything we just yeah. well, let's refer like the the, the well, next time Canada. we'll just play the cd and you guys can stay home <laughs> yeah that's good. okay that's good and that hurts yeah I'm, I'm glad you got that one quicker <laughs> oh man you got all those all the... anything i can do to make you two hug each other let me know <laughs> Now, yeah, okay, now you have been friends for years, you've been in the band for years, and uh, I understand you've had your fair share of uh, ups and downs. spats. Yeah. yeah, ups and downs, if you want to call them that. Yeah, Good, I don't want you. to call them that. I'm definitely afraid of what you mean by ups and downs, but please explain. Uh, well, your guy Keith called today and asked, uh, you know, some... My guy some... Keith. Well, hey, I don't want to explain that either. Yeah. Should I... <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Keith, my little guy. <laughs> now, I have here a uh, video cassette of Bruce McDonald's new flick, Hardcore Logo. Yes. yes. Hugh not only swears, spits, and sings, he acts. Oh. Now, you were in Hardcore Logo. I... Yes, you were, actually. <laughs> I, know. I know. You got a lighter, a video. It's the brown acid that. kick Be sure in. to look for the Hugh Dillon stick-on tattoo. <laughs> but uh, you were in that movie. You had a great time doing it. You're a good friend of Bruce McDonald. Yeah, yeah. I was in a, a movie he did before that, uh, Dance Me Outside. And he shot... Uh, uh, he shot... Uh, a hit by Canadian standards. Did you yes, hear him clap? Yeah, yeah. All right, we got a clip of uh, Hardcore Logo. Do you mind if we look at it? Cool. Sure, it's more about you. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch Hardcore Logo. After a certain age, it's hard to make friends. And I've known Joe since I was 13. It, it'll be my responsibility again to take care of everybody on the tour. I mean, we've been through shit, and we've been through hell and back, and we know what it's like, and we still survived. You're like, this is the band, this is a gang. And if Billy's into it, and if John and Piper are around, I'll be doing it. And if they're interested, they'll be doing it with me. And if not, we'll see what happens. I'm clapping my own stuff. Love it. Hugh Dillon, ladies and gentlemen, not only a fine actor, but a wonderful ventriloquist as well. <laughs> At any rate, uh, another famous director uh, saw Hardcore Logo. And Tarantino. He's a... yeah. yeah, I was going to yeah, say that. Yeah, went down to L.A. And... 
I would call him Quentin, but go ahead. Well, uh, <laughs> no, he was a great guy. I got the, uh, the call, and I checked everything with Trent, and, uh, and I went down. So quickly, we don't even see it. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, I went down, and great guy, and he, and he uh, picked up hardcore to distribute in the state so I go down and do publicity in uh, May and uh, we've got a couple of nice uh, record deals on the table so it's looking good great you know and we're on this show which is don't interrupt folks I smell the compliment you, you know, how do you know that hey you 30 seconds commercial <laughs> Right here for it. Okay, Sammy goes funny with the acting, uh, you know, the rock and roll. You, Dylan, soon to be the host of this show. <laughs> uh, compliments coming. Uh, Trent and I are both huge TV buffs, and uh, this show's going to work. You can just tell by watching it. Thanks. I'm not going to. That's it. Now on, it's head to head. Thank you. I'm sorry, I left this up to Hugh, but now we're 10 seconds over commercial. <laughs> we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest has just published her first book, but you know her and love her from her 16 year reign at City TV, Much Music, and now Bravo. Please welcome Ziggy Lawrence. So you met you and Trent, and I think we already established in the first segment they won't be interested in you. <laughs> Well, just wanted to say congratulations on your show. Uh, thank you so much. I've been watching, and uh, I agree with the guys. There's something I must tell you. I, I did watch the remote that you did on the King of Kensington. My people. Now, check it out. This is the Vivian Westwood crown. So I hereby crown you King of Kensington. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. And could we, uh, could we get a case. wardrobe person to put this with the others? <laughs> There's the matching shorts, but I don't know if they're going to fit. Oh. They have, like, faux fur trim, and I thought, you know, uh, that's great. if you feel up to it. <laughs> oh, listen, it's, it's the kind of thing you could get cut down and wear anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll, I'll put Enjoy. that in the little box along yeah. with Hughes lighter. <laughs> Maybe I can use Hughes lighter. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. nasty. Oh my. Boy, I can yes. just see Hugh and Trent fighting over that stuff at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I read your yes. book. I heard. Yes. Yeah. I read right. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed. I read it while I was skipping through the Headstone CD. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. You've got to have like the whole... I read uh... this book in its entirety. Wow. I found it very interesting. Hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Never mind, fellas. <laughs> That's good. Now, uh, you do allude to a little affair with a young Jim Carrey. Yes. You Get only... out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, folks, apparently it's a small world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, hey. Oh, my. We're not here to ruin Jim Carrey's career. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you, uh, did you actually have a full-blown romance with him? You're a freak. Oh, you <laughs> This guy's I don't like on. To take that, you know? A rock yeah. musician called me a freak. Time to change. <laughs> Time for me to go through some big changes, folks. I will tell you something that 